So I'm gonna lower this puppy down to uh, half an inch. That is a bold, bold move on a freshly renovated lawn, but I want something to cut and I wanna cut it now. So I got this side set to a half an inch. Gotta set this side to a half of an inch. Seriously, what do you want? Leave me alone. Okay, there it goes. So I'm gonna tighten it up. I've got it set to a one half inch. So I do realize this sounds crazy, but I've actually been thinking about this mow all day long when I was at work. I was wondering just what I could do or what, what I thought I could get away with with the height of cut. So crisp and clean. So crisp, so clean. Oh, so good, it feels so good. It is so good. So if you guys have one of these real master machines or these grains master machines, you always have to check this filter right here. This thing fills up with sediment and the fuel. See all that grossness in there? That's just gross crap that's built up in there. Dirt, debris, see it in there? All right, so I just took it over to the hose, rinsed it out a bit. Seems to be pretty decent, I guess. So this is something that you wanna check. When I very first got my first machine, started running sluggish and I wasn't aware of that yet. And I cleaned it out and it ran awesome after that. So, so let's do this. I've got uh, 8,000 square feet of lawn here. Let's mow this sucker at one half inch. So I am in prime grass growing conditions with these temperatures. I think I looked at my uh, temperature reading on my truck and I think it said 60. So we're right in that fall range won't be long before I get the first frost that are gonna kill my flowers, which sucks, but it's really good for growing grass, that's for sure. So let's go for it. So I can tell that this lawn needs to be mowed because it kind of looks shaggy to me. I know that sounds crazy, but the more you know, the more you mow. So the more you learn about turf, the more you wanna mow it. Tell you what, that is the most satisfactory feeling ever. Mowing this with the 1600 at a half inch is just fantastic. I do see some places where the blades are getting pushed over. But that's the way it is with a real mower, folks. It pushes the blades over. What are you gonna do? I'm just wondering why life can't always be this good. Perfect temperatures, perfect mowing. It's just, it's fantastic, I tell you. So let's get down and take a look. Okay, so here is the cut line. It's kind of hard to see from this vantage point. What we got in there, some plastic tape, plastic. So here is the cut right here. You can see if I fluff this up, I've got some grass that is roughly an inch tall. And she's rolled it over to, oh, I'd say a half inch, just kind of about where I've set the height of cut. But if I fluff it up like this, you can clearly see we've got stuff that cuts up to a half an inch. If I pull this back, yeah, you can see the soil there. But this is still establishing, and it's still becoming thick. I'd say that's a win-win. I do have some thin areas for sure. This is probably one of the thicker areas, but let's come over here and take a look at a thin area. All right, so here's one of my thinner areas or one of the thinnest areas, but you can see 
the bluegrass is all through here, even though we don't have any like say right here. You can see the dead grass, the thatchy layer from the dead grass from the old stand of grass that I killed. That's weird, that is weird. It's so, so, so rewarding and so, so, so fulfilling mowing at a half inch. Those of you guys who have mowed at one half inch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is definitely rewarding on a cool season lawn. Holy crap, I can't even begin to tell you how awesome that is. It is green, dark green. I like that Everest. Dark, dark green. Beautiful cut. All I can say is it feels good to be back in the saddle again using my mower on the fresh turf. Not gonna say my lawn looks as good as it used to because it flat doesn't yet because it has not filled in yet. But dude, you gotta be kidding me. For 10 weeks, I'm not complaining. It looks great. Cutting off quite a bit, but I did lower the height to one half inch. And I can't wait to rub this in Ryan Norris' face because guess what, pal? This is one half inch and this is pure Kentucky bluegrass. Ain't no stinking ryegrass. While I do love ryegrass, it's seriously amazing. This is a pure product, not tainted with that rye, the cheater grass. So check this out right here. You can kind of see the bike tire tracks right here. They're definitely still evident, but they are disappearing a little bit more every day. What do we got? Someone's yelling and screaming. Nope, not lucky lose. Workers, like I said, you can see the bike tracks. They are pretty well almost gone. So that's why it's not a big deal, folks. It's just grass. It's just grass we're talking about here. It'll grow back. And it's pretty growing pretty decent. Get a couple applications of sand on there and bing, she's back to normal. Okay, so I went inside to eat dinner, came out, and the sun's down. It's seven o'clock, and that straight up sucks that uh, Ben from Lawn Tips, he's stealing all our daylight. He's like, yeah, I'm getting more daylight down here in Australia, and we're losing it. That freaking sucks. So this right here, this area was pretty poor looking before, but it's decent now. Oh, got Sister Lutz going by. This area right here was pretty poor looking but I can tell if I just keep pushing it, I've got, I've got enough grass there that I can make it work. So I did finish the mow before I went in to eat and she looks good. That's one half inch Kentucky bluegrass, folks. Don't kid yourself, that's the real deal. My grass season has pretty well come to a close. Almost, I've got a couple of more weeks of mowing um, mid-October mid and then we are done, done, and done. Yeah? If I have to say so myself, I am very pleased with how this has gone. I am just in, in flower heaven with the dahlias over there. Ooh, so awesome, but that's gonna pretty well do it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching my videos and I will see you in the next one.